Hello everybody, it's Crushing Steve here, and here's my dog, who doesn't like the camera. This is Taylor. Anyways, this video is going to be about, uh, uh, well about, it's going to be of, uh, my one year stacking of silver. Um, they see an old lady outside, so they're just going to do the thing. Anyways, um, one year silver stacking video. I started last February, so it's not quite one year, but I think it's a good time to make this video just because it's the beginning of the new year. Uh, so I'm just going to get right into it. I'm going to switch the video. I'm going to show you uh, everything I have. Sounds good? Sounds good. Alright, see you guys on the flip side. Alright guys, so we're just going to jump right into it. I got my collection beside me here off camera, and I'm just going to pull everything in as... Uh, it's just easy to do so like things on top and whatnot. But uh, first thing on the list is this. It's just a collection of 80% Canadian coins. Uh, the, and these I just found in my pocket. So a lot of people don't know that sometimes they have silver sitting in the pockets. But these are ones I found myself over the past year. And uh, the all uh, quarters and um, dimes. So. There we go with that. Uh, next on the list, uh, since we're on the topic of Canadian dimes, I'm not going to open these up, but these are rolls of uncirculated dimes. Uh, 1965 and 1967 Canadian dimes, and these are 80% silver, uh, along with these. And this bag I'm actually going to take off, and these can just sit right there. And uh, I might as well continue on with the dimes. Uh, if you guys have watched uh, the recent video of mine unboxing the Atmax unboxing, then you guys will know that I have. I'll take that one out. I have these guys. Now these are Mercury dimes, so the I have these all mixed up. I have them all labeled, so I don't mix them up, and here I am mixing them up. So, I, uh, in an earlier video, I unboxed a bag of Mercury Dimes, and in that bag was 1,000 dimes. Now, these Mercury Dimes are 90%. So, I have a few of these rolls, as you can imagine, and each tube has 50 dimes in it. So, you guys will soon see that dimes are just my thing to collect. Though I am branching out in a little bit of everything as time goes on. Now these dimes are, would be uh, the newest addition to my collection. Okay, I'll just... Uh, What's the easiest way to do that? I'll just stick them on top here. So there we go. And I'll just even up this pile a bit. Okay, so there we go. There's 20 rolls or tubes of whatever you want to call it of 90% mercury dimes, so that's 1,000 dimes in total. Now, plus these two rolls, plus, you saw me put these off camera, but the back now, these are Canadian dimes. Um, I'll just take a couple out, but yeah, it's all just 80% Canadian dimes. And uh, got a couple of tubes of them. Don't wanna make a mess, you can imagine the mess these make if everything's out of the tubes. So anyway, Mercury Dimes and Canadian Dimes. I'll just stick these right beside them, just like so. And then Canadian Dimes there as well. I think I said that five times. Uh, in this tube, I have Canadian Dollars. Now, at one point, we used to carry these in our pocket. Uh, these all 
1967 and earlier. Most of them are 1965, I believe. Uh, Centennial, that's 1967, 1967, 65, 65. So, there we go with that. And uh, it's 20 in this roll. Okay, so dollars, Canadian dollars, Canadian dimes, American dimes, and once again, Canadian dimes. And to continue on, I'm not going to open up this up because it's uncirculated, so I'd rather not get fingerprints all over it, but it's Canadian quarters, uh, 80%, as with, as with um, the rest of the Canadian server. Now, in this is... Uh, 50 cent pieces or half dollars. I got a mix of both Canadian and American. I got uh, three Canadian, just various dates, and then three American. Uh, a Kennedy, a uh, Walking, uh, no, Walking Liberty, uh, a Franklin, and uh, Walking Liberty on this one. And those are all 50 cent pieces. And oddly enough, I don't have this two labels. I think it's because it's mixed, but perhaps I should fix that. And from the Royal Canadian Mint, I actually got this for free. I found it, my mom gave it to me. She's like, oh, I found this in my drawer. So here you go. Uh, it's a uh, Canadian dollar. Uh, um, this is a fox. I'm not quite sure what it represents. I believe like the, the prairies in, in some sh shape, shape or form. Uh, let me check this out. No, that didn't say anything. Eh, too bad. But it's just a proof silver dollar. It has a fox in the front. So I have that. And then I might as well open up this other box as well. Now I really like this one. There's a few videos of it up and other people's channels and whatnot. It's uh, Farewell to the Penny, 2012, 99.99 uh, silver. I really like that one. I was meaning to get the gold one as well, but it just didn't work out for me, so. There we have that. Uh, oh, I found two more. How about that? Two more rolls of Canadian dimes. Funny how that happens. So six, six of these in total. Uh, next, I might as well bring out all the capsules. I have a whole bunch of, not a whole bunch, 16 uh, Morgan dollars. And most of these are in brilliant, uncirculated condition. And they're all of various dates. Uh, as soon as I take them all out, uh, I will list them off for you. Uh, I'm not going to mention mint marks, I was just take too long. Anyway, this is 1900, uh, 1887. 1902, 1896, 1902, 1886, uh, 1886, got a few of those, 89, 1881, 1879, and that's what I have from brilliant uncirculated condition. And then I also have this one. This is probably one of the first pieces that I ever got for my collection. It's a Morgan doll as well. Uh, you can see there's there's it's uh there's quite a bit of use to it. It's in still pretty good condition though. It's an 1890 and it's a custom city one. So I'll just put that on top. 
And then what I have next is a Mexican uh, Libertad. I picked this up in Barcelona. Uh, 1990, 1994. It's in pretty good condition. Um, what else do I have? I have these guys. $20 for $20. I got four of them. It has the maple leaves on the pond and then Queen Elizabeth on the back. I got four of those guys. I have one American Eagle. Only one. Uh, 2012 I believe. Yeah, 2012. And then one Canadian Maple. 2012. Yes, 2012. Okay. Okay, next I have a 5 ounce Fiji Taku. I really like this coin. It's one of my favorites. Excellent condition. Of course, it's in a capsule, but you know what I mean. Um, and we are actually almost done, you guys. This I'll keep off camera later on, but just because it's so big. But it's, I picked this up in Rome actually, of all places. It's a Canadian uh, mint 1965 set. Pretty straightforward. And yeah, I picked that up in uh, Rome uh, late February. So I'll keep that off to the side. And. Two more things I got to show you guys. It's a big guy. It's a one kilo Australian kookaburra, 2011, 99.9% .9 silver uh, from the Perth Mint. I absolutely love this guy too. I plan on picking up sometime this year a year of the snake and a year of the dragon, the kilos from the Perth Mint. Uh, I saw a couple of videos of them, and they are absolutely gorgeous. And funny enough, I do not have a container for these guys, though I should. When you guys find out what's inside, instead I have them all wrapped up in Kleenex. Okay. I have a mint condition 1967 set, including the gold coin. So here we have the dollar, uh, the nickel. Hey guys, sorry about that. Uh, my video cut out, but what you were watching was uh, my 1967 uncirculated Canadian set, including the $20 gold coin. Gold coin, rather. Um, that's it for the video though. Uh, feel free to leave a comment, leave a message, anything you guys want. Uh, if you guys are curious about anything. And uh, feel free to check out my other videos if you wish. Alright, you guys have a great day. And thank you once again for watching.